Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. Happy Friday, hopefully you had a great week and you're ready for the weekend. I know I am. Uh, we're gonna be reacting to a video, something different here today. Uh, the video is by John Anthony HD um, called Why Barrier Bugs and Jeff Aviano Left DOJ. Um, and I've been getting a lot of people um, you know, hitting me up about this lately. Uh, this video has over 300,000 views on it, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and watch it with you. Uh, and to keep it short and sweet, um, I'm just gonna react to things that aren't true. Any of the drama or the hearsay and things that uh, are of that nature, we're just gonna keep it out of this video. The year is 2017, and you're Ooh, a subscriber 2017. to the YouTuber known as Bay Area Bugs. You see I know the I was subscribed. episode has been uploaded. Oh, there you it is. Due to the explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. I remember making that uh, and then sending that out to all the Code Zero people. What you're doing <laughs> and you watch. Let's fast forward to March 17, 2018. All right, Barrier let's do Bugs it. uploaded a video titled GTA 5 Roleplay DOJ 416 Criminal Activity Part 2. You once again stop what you're doing. Oh my god, dude, look at that tracksuit. Bugs' tracksuit that he loves so and, dearly. And watch the video. Little <laughs> did you know that this would be the last DOJ episode you would see from him ever. Yep. I like the editing so far. Very documentary style, has some. Uh, you know, sinister music on the bottom there. We saw the inverted uh, image there and fade to black. I like it. For years, fans have been speculating what exactly happened between Bugs, Polcat, and Jeff Faviano. I can tell you the um, the truth behind it is way more boring than any of the conspiracy theories I've seen out there. Very, uh, you know, colorful ideas and very creative, but not true. What? Oh man, look at Bugs' room in California. You got the uh, Grand Theft Auto poster there. You got the AKG Perception 220 microphone with a pop filter. Got the beanie Still on. Very above. That is amazing. Polkat 324 are YouTubers who started off making GTA 4 LCPDFR videos. Eventually, they discovered each other's content and became friends in 2014. Uh, that's not true. They didn't uh, discover each other. Uh, it was all over in ENB. Uh, in we were doing videos uh, in GTA 4 at the time, and uh, I noticed that there was a ENB series out there. Uh, by Polcat, and I reached out to him and said, hey, can we use your EMB? It looks awesome, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then we um, kind of just hung out and talked a little bit in Discord, or at Skype at the time, I think it was. And we uh, we we got the ENB, and we were talking about the EMB stuff. So uh, Jordan was not part of Code Zero at that time. Polcat had a community called DOJ that was founded in 2013. Yeah. They role-played on GTA 4. On August 3rd, 2014, Polcat and Bugs would make their first video together. It was a GTA 5 online video. During this time period in which they started gaming together, the group called Code Zero Gaming was formed, which includes- That's not true. Uh, Code Zero was originally myself, Bugs, uh, Abs Girl, Dudrick, Tim Call, uh, and Yodelex, uh, Chris. Those were the original members of Code Zero. Uh, we brought people in later on, and even Spears here in this uh, in this picture, he was part of Code Zero at a later date. Um, Jordan was in it, and Zach. How can you leave out Zach Hausnacht? You know, he was the one that um, beat seems legit and all the uh, the Code Zero sayings and Code Zero isms into everybody's head. Um, if it wasn't for Zach, we wouldn't have have had that. Honestly, I know he didn't create those those uh, different uh, you know phrases and things like that. In my opinion, the greatest GTA 5 roleplay series on YouTube and it's not even close. These videos just don't age. If you look at the comments on majority- uh, I would disagree with that. Uh, for me, I'm kind of embarrassed about some of it because of the colorful language uh, that we used on a constant basis. And when I started going to PAX and, uh, and meeting uh, subscribers and they would uh, have their kids with them and go, hey, we watch videos together. I'm like, are you sure that's okay? And they're like, yeah, no, it's it's all right. Not a big deal. They know they're not allowed to say those words and things like that. It really made me go, mm, maybe I don't need to make that style of content anymore. It, it, it is cringy when I watch it back uh, today. Um, but I think it was time to move on. And I, I think that there are some things that... Videos? Have we will have comments poorly. like 2022. So good to come back to these old videos. A YouTuber by the name of Tiger okay. Risk uploaded a video title. I like that we have the uh, the thumbnail down there from our uh, vlog that we did for the NASCAR thing in Charlotte. Myself and Bugs are doing a promo for the NASCAR. Why uh, Bugs and Jeff left DOJ RP? And I, I like that a lot of these videos. And I've seen these. They they do get recommended to me uh, by the YouTube YouTube algorithm sometimes. And it's so absolute, like, this is the explanation. This is why this happened. Um, and when I left DOJ and 
uh, all that stuff. I, I came out on my, my Twitch channel and, and I talked to people. The only thing I didn't do was make a video on the main channel. And in retrospect, um, that was an oversight. I should have done that and just got ahead of it. I think at the time I was just like, I want this to be left behind in the past and I don't want to bring it up anymore. I want to move forward, you know? Um, and, uh, but I, I've made several comments and I've talked about this till I've been till I'm blue in the face of why explanation in the video. He stated, this is my non fanboy comment. I know Jeff and bugs mm -hmm. are super close friends and bugs and Polecat are as well. Yeah. My honest take Polecat has something going on a few months back when high ranking members were leaving like crazy. It felt like those people were oh, quietly throwing shade, throwing shade Polecat. at Polecat. I felt like his true form came out. He was being a combatant of F on Twitter to anyone who even as much dared to criticize. So here we are going through uh... More so than that fire kitten has said that she had to delete stuff before because of surprise meetings or poll Catholic. Okay, so this is talking about how uh, members had to delete stuff uh, because of surprise meetings and thing, things like that and Jordan flipping out. Um, for me, that is true. Um, there's several times where I was asked by Jordan to remove certain sections of a video out because of an admin scene and uh, somebody getting yelled at or, or what have you. And when I was doing my Twitch streams, I would roll up on a scene and go, whoop, not doing this. <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't want to watch this. Um, and you know, if you're gonna be yelling at somebody and making somebody cry and things like that, like that did not make it into the video and it shouldn't have, um, but it shouldn't have happened in the beginning at, at all. Out. That, that's one of the big issues that I had with Jordan and also DOJ was, and the, the power tripping and, and treating people uh, poorly. That was not, not and cool stuff by like me. That. BX Rich had a video a few months back that he had up for a bit and then took down. Reason being, Polecat was chewing some people. Yeah, that, that happened pretty regularly. I've seen this one as well. Um, I didn't leave DOJ because of the fail RP, because of the cops, because of all this stuff. Um, and, uh, keeping it by the rules and keeping things legit. That's not really me. If people actually knew who I was, I like to have fun and do stupid stuff. I mean, we created the five PD series for that reason. Um, but it's it's not the end all be all LRP to be super realistic. Wanted to take a break. Jeff has always said that his channel wouldn't be dependent on DOJ as he posts and does lots. Yeah, and I really wanted to make that clear. I'm like, I'm not dependent on DOJ. I wasn't dependent on GTA 5 roleplay, uh, GTA 5. Um, it's a variety channel, and I knew that it was going to be a harder road to take in the long run because how YouTube works is if you make one specific type of content, it does really well. You just keep getting blown up over and over again. Um, but I was not doing that. I was just doing different videos and I was, you know, reaching out to different people, uh, in my grand audience. And, uh, I wouldn't have it any other way, you know, getting up in the morning, having a cup of coffee, coming in here, uh, brainstorming an idea, brainstorming an idea for a video and, and making it that day. Uh, it's, it's an incredible, incredible career that I never thought was possible. And thank you all very much for, for making that, uh, what it is today. I really do appreciate that. Lots of different content. All in all, I feel like he's just taking a break from it. Before anyone jumps on me too, I'm not bashing Polecat. I'm really... Yeah, and I'm not bashing Jordan uh, at all. That's not the intention of this video. I'm just here to literally clear up the air and say, hey, this is what the truth is. After Bugs left DOJ, he would join a new roleplay server OCRP. created by Jeff Fabiano and DK Dave called OCR. Oh, <laughs> they, uh, they did Dave dirty there. Uh, that's Dave's old name, DK Dave, because he used to upload Donkey Kong content. And I told him, hey, uh, in the long run, you're really not going to want that name. So you should make it into something else. So we used to always be like, damn it, Dave. So that's what uh, it became. But Dave, uh, some of you may not know that, is one of my high school friends. Um, and we are still best friends today. Uh, I've lived with him, you know, in the past. And we've, we, we have an incredible friendship. Uh, but maybe that's the reason why I think a lot of people think that I'm giving him uh, crap too much in a video and things like that. Whenever he was uh, recording like 5PD with us, it was just because we're the closest friends out of anybody. Um, and it's easy for us to, uh, to give each other, uh, to give each other crap like that. But also I wanted to clear up where Dave is. He has a full-time job and a second job and YouTube is not his job. So, uh, he had to step away from making YouTube content. Can we stop here right now and have a look at this masterpiece on the wall? That is a Dale Earnhardt uh, poster on the left side of bugs there. And on the right, Videos. that is, <laughs> let's get a better shot of bugs there on the right. That is that, uh, blueprint poster that you would get, uh, in GTA five that showed you all the secret locations. Eventually Jeff would break his silence posting a community thread. He said, I truly do appreciate the everyone supporting the recent content. I do want to be crystal yep. clear that I will not make content with Polecat 
ever again. Yeah, and that was just to be absolutely honest with my audience to say, hey, no matter what you have heard, I will never make any content with him again or DOJ, I have separated from that and I'm moving on with my life. But I was just constantly getting I appreciate the you know, enthusiasm and I get how epic the comments it would about be it. for some of you longtime viewers. It's just not in the cards. We move on and we yeah. continue to do our thing. And I get, you know, people would have loved to see us all playing games together constantly and do it for the fans was a huge one that people were constantly throwing at us. But, you know, sometimes people just grow apart and that's exactly what happened here. This is my take on it. Although some statements may differ, Paul Cat was Oh man, there's lots of takes of his power. on Reddit. After Jeff created OCRP, the DOJ right. staff started forcing people to leave OCRP if they wanted to stay in DOJ. That is true. Due to yes. their one roleplay server rule. Okay, so yeah, with this uh, whole situation here, saying that after I created OCRP, the DOJ staff started forcing people to leave OCRP. Uh, that is actually true. Um, what happened was we were blacklisted by DOJ um, because DOJ had made a change to their rule set because we were like we don't care about people double clanning whatever you want to do whatever you call it be in multiple uh communities uh doj then changed it to well you can do this now but we were blacklisted and what was happening was uh people were like hey i have to leave ocrp because i'm also part of doj because they wanted to do what we were all about and uh it was required by them to have a screenshot proof of talking to myself or another per person of an OCRP um, that they were leaving and that we acknowledged them leaving. We had to have screenshot proof for that. So that's whenever I made my uh, tweet about I've lost respect for the administrative staff over there Which at DOJ. Jeff to make that's true. About that's how that's when I have respect for DOJ staff. Slash yeah, admin, right there. Even though yes. he said he hadn't talked to Polcat that. in months at that time. But it was clear that I he had bad no. blood with Polcat and him mistreating not only. It's not bad blood. I, I, like, I don't hate the guy or anything. I was just, you know, we just grew apart, you know, as, as, as acquaintances. <laughs> so there was the a DOJ lot of ground to stand on there anyway. So that, that actually is true. There was a... um. There was a community meeting with DOJ, the last one I was part of, uh, and I brought it to their attention. I said, hey, you know, 5M, um, they don't see you guys in a positive light. They see you in a negative light. Um, and I really wish we could change that, you know, because I'm associating my name, my channel name with DOJ every time I put that in a title. Um, so I brought that forward and I was greeted with the words um, F5M. They wouldn't be anything without us. So... That was like the was final straw. The like, I, I think I'm getting out of here. Doors. This being why there is no concrete story as to what actually happened. Which is funny because how militaristic they are in their community when they do their little, uh, when they do the, the community meetings. You would imagine they would have a stenographer there that would have been like, hey, uh, Jeff said this at a certain time. And I'm sure there's more to the story which blah, 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 blah. I didn't cover. This, once again, yeah, I remember whenever Bugs made this post and I was really happy that he did because myself and Alex, the Northern Alex, we were getting the brunt of everything. We're the only ones that were actively still doing things in Code Zero, uh, and we were just getting constantly piled on about things. So Bugs finally made a uh, statement to help clear Outside us up YouTube. a little bit, and, and I, needed uh, that time I really do appreciate when you did that. It helped out a ton. To I've seen people saying it's because Jeff or Alex yeah. or even Polcat, and I'll say this isn't true at all said the pressure of who is and who isn't in code zero was unnecessary what that tells me is that during the fallout with polecat there might have been yeah. an agreement to kick him from the group uh that's not true he was still part of uh code zero after i left doj um we weren't kicking him out of code zero or anything like that we were just leaving doj and i wasn't going to make any content there and i didn't want to be a part of that anymore actually make his longer way to return to youtube on april 17th 2021 of course there will be no sign of a polecat reunion but one thing that was really strange is when a user tweeted to polecat asking if he planned to reply to his thing happened I as if nothing happened what's even more ironic is that around the same time period of late 2019 jeff uploaded a video titled leaving code zero behind oh, yeah, I remember this. Spoke on the situation itself With one Alex. major thing that jeff said in this video really got me thinking was this i've said it so many times but you just you can't force people to be friends with you and you can't force yeah what i mean by that is you you can't you you just because somebody else is friends with somebody doesn't mean you have to be friends with them um and that is applied across everything <laughs> In the real world, um, you know, in your friend groups, you don't, you may not like somebody, but you tolerate them because you, you know, you love your friend. So uh, that's People what I was getting to, at here. Uh, to be around to record. It's no. just never been that way. And 
yeah, I mean, you can't force people to record, even though myself and Alex were like, hey, you guys want to do a recording session together? And myself and Alex were recording a lot together at this time. We were really trying to just keep the uh, when keep it, the life support on Code Zero at the time. We're on the same page about recording videos and stuff. But to be honest, like once, whenever Bugs was on his hiatus, like it was never going to be the same. You know what I mean? Like we started doing Code Zero together. So when he left, it wasn't, uh, it just, it was like, why do we need to keep this name anymore? You know, I didn't know if he was coming back to YouTube or anything like that. And, and I think and that our slowly went away. Yeah, I had, a, I, you know, I, I had my qualms with with issues, but I we can't say we didn't have a fight to the end. Um, yeah, we did. We we fought to the end. Uh, and I remember I recorded this video uh, at uh, in St. Louis at the time. I was living in Florida at the time, but um, this was in St. Louis because. We had to evacuate because of As Dorian, the hurricane. Wow, did we really moving towards Orlando. 2019 to, to get Code Zero members together to try to get something going. I don't mean to be coming across as like a jerk or anything. It's just when you get asked the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and I've said it, you know, as many times as I had. Now, retrospect, should have made a video here on the main channel. That would probably That has have nothing to do with this. It's on them For sure, to inform But that's people. on me. So this might have been directed towards yeah. Bugs because at the time he was still gone. That wasn't directed towards Bugs. That was towards everybody in Code Zero at the time. I really made that, you know, evident to them in that Discord. I was like, hey, y'all y'all need to actually say something to everybody because there's too much speculation happening um, and everybody's being I'm silent. YouTube. Like this I wasn't. I was Reddit talking to people on titled, Twitch and the post that making comments. Everything touches on the polecat issue, saying we're not going to go in depth with it as there is a lot to it. Yeah, and you see right there, Code Zero Gaming continuation. Code Zero currently consists of Jeff, Dammit, Dave, and Northern Alex. That's true. Everybody was gone at that time, and what I mean by that is they had left the Discord group call um, and they were not talking. Or they were not, you know, letting us know what's going on in their lives at all. Numerous times by Jeff, but as far as we are all concerned, no more DOJ and no more Polecat stuff goes here. Jeff clearly said both here and on Twitter that he doesn't want to be associated with him because of what he's done. That's it. It seems as though Jeff and Polecat had a huge falling out. So the rumors of Polecat flipping. There was a falling out, yeah. And, you know, honestly, the, the final guillotine drop was after I left DOJ and um, I had to hear, you know, I wouldn't be any... Thing I am on YouTube without Polcat and DOJ, and um, to me, I just I never looked back. Man, that was that was the that was the end. It's definitely becoming more and more true. Another rumor is that Polcat made a rule that didn't allow DOJ players to be in other RP servers. That is One, true, Reddit and they fall they fell back on it, like I said, and they allowed it for a while. But we were blacklisted. Address these allegations. If I am correct, I think Polcat did something that split the group. Maybe that DOJ no longer allowed people to be in other RPs. Like that split him from the rest. He continued with DOJ. The others did their own thing. Bugs took a break and Jeff started OCRP. Some joined and some did not. There were tweets about Polcat joining 5PD. Also tweets from Jeff that he would never do something again with people of DOJ. That's true. Yeah, and, and Polcat was never going to be part of our 5PD stuff because myself and uh, Ryan, Siv Ryan, were the ones that created the 5PD series uh, from the beginning. Well, we didn't create 5PD. 5PD is an awesome uh, mod that allows you to do kind of SPDFR style stuff in a 5M server. Um, but if you watch back, that's we were just actually using the mod and playing together. Um, and then I really felt like we could we could have something here if we brought everybody uh, you know back from um, doing uh, prior stuff like Zach and, and Bugs, huge ones. And then Dave joined us. So um, to me, that was never going to happen because Polcat had already left the group and I, I cut ties with the dude. I wasn't talking to him anymore. Including Polcat. But it's now about two to three years ago and I don't know if my timeline slash thoughts are correct. That's just what I think. In the end, I think they will not make videos with Polcat again. They will be a group and Polcat has his group. Yep. And that's perfectly fine. And... Uh, that's that's exactly Maybe what happened. Maybe it's a case of Polcat trying to control what GTA 5 content Jeff and Bugs uploaded. There no, that is not true. He did not try to control anything on our YouTube channels. Our YouTube channels are our own, and uh, we were the ones that made all the decisions on those. Um, we were not that we. It would be different, I think, if we uploaded as Code Zero Gaming, but we're individuals. So no, he he never did anything like that. There's also allegations on Polcat for doing something with a miner in the DOJ server. These allegations started... So I've seen these allegations. They're everywhere. Um, I've been tagged on Twitter. Um, I've had people come into my Twitch chat. Uh, I'll leave comments about these allegations. And I am not here to slander uh, Jordan. I'm not here to say anything that's untrue. 
Um, I don't know let the professionals deal with that whole situation. Um, but I had no idea any of that was going on if it is true. Um, and, uh, you know, it's the, the whole argument of this is the reason why I'm no, that's not true. That's a, that's a bad situation. And I do not condone any of that behavior at all. If he wasn't guilty, I don't think he would hey, check it out. Down. It's profit. So things aren't looking good. You guys remember profit. So we used to play with him too. Jeff and Bugs found out about all this. They cut ties with him. Uh, that is untrue. Which would be totally understandable. There's no way three I grown will. men simply ended a great friendship over video game rules. This is deeper than we think. I don't understand what that one is. There's no way three grown men. I love that one. Always gets thrown in your face. Three grown men. Um, three grown men, uh, stopped playing together because of video game rules. No, that's not what happened. It was a growing apart of an acquaintance that I had and growing apart of a friendship that Bugs and him had. That's that's all it was. You know, Bugs moved across the uh, United States to Florida. They didn't hang out together as much anymore. And, um, and Bugs disagreed with things in DOJ as well. So he has his own reasons for leaving um, on top of everything else. It has to end this way. All right, so that is the end of the video right there. Want to say thank you all for making it this far into the video. Hopefully you have a good weekend. Let me know in the comments below. Um, you can ask me any questions you want to. I'll answer down there as much as I possibly can. Um, but if there is a second video out by the same uh, YouTuber, John Anthony HD, if you want me to react to that one, I can do that as well. Again, just let me know in the comments. But that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.